A legal entity identifier or lay is a 20-character identifier that identifies distinct legal entities that engage in financial transactions. It is defined by ISO 17442. Natural persons are not required to have an lay, they're eligible to have one issued, however, but only if they act in an independent business capacity. The lay is a global standard, designed to be non-proprietary data that is freely accessible to all. As of October 2017, over 630,000 legal entities from more than 195 countries have now been issued with lays. History At the time of the 2008 financial crisis, a single identification code unique to each financial institution was unavailable worldwide. It means that each country had different code systems to recognize the counterpart corporation of financial transactions. Accordingly, it was impossible to identify the transaction details of individual corporations, identify the counterpart of financial transactions, and calculate the total risk amount. This resulted in difficulties in estimating individual corporations' amount of the risk exposure, analyzing risks across the market, and resolving the failing financial institutions. This is one of the factors that made it difficult for the early evolution of the financial crisis. The lay system was developed by the 2011 G20, in response to these inability of financial institutions to identify organizations uniquely, so that their financial transactions in different national jurisdictions can be fully tracked. Currently, the ROC Regulatory Oversight Committee, a coalition of financial regulators and central banks across the country, is encouraging the expansion of the lay. Currently, the U.S. and European countries require corporations to use the legal entity identifier when reporting the details of transactions with over-the-counter derivatives to financial authorities. The first lays were issued in December 2012. Topic. Code structure The technical specification for lay is ISO 17442. An lay consists of a 20-character alphanumeric string, with the first four characters identifying the local operating unit that issued the lay. Characters 5 and 6 are reserved as OO. Characters 7 to 18 are the unique alphanumeric string assigned to the organization by the LU. The final two characters are checksum digits. Topic. Global operating system G20, an international organization consisting of representing 20 major countries 90% of the world's GDP like seven developed countries G7, the chair countries of the European Union, and 12 rising nations. FSB Financial Stability Board, an organization founded to enhance the stability of the global financial system and to oversee international finance. Lay Rock Regulatory Oversight Committee, the best decision-making organization for lay systems under FSB. The 40 countries financial authorities, the central bank, and IMF are represented as members by international organizations. GLEIF Global Lay Foundation, it is responsible for controlling the loose in each region as a practical operating organization within the lay system. LU local operating unit, as the operating organization for issuing and maintaining the lay code in each region, 31 LU are currently active worldwide. Topic. Need of lay Who should have lay? Both corporations and funds involved in financial transactions need the lay. LAY is an identification code designed to recognize all of the entities and funds involved in financial transactions worldwide, therefore, all corporations and funds that participate in financial transactions should be issued LAY. When does it need? In the United States and Europe, the parties to the transactions must use the LAY to report to the supervisory authorities any out-of-books derivatives transactions. Recently, it has expanded their coverage such as alternative investments, fund investments, insurance, spot markets, pensions, logistics and bids. Topic. Obtaining a legal entity identifier lay. The Global Legal Entity Identifier Foundation GLEIF, is not directly issuing legal entity identifiers, but instead it delegates this responsibility to local operating units loose. These lay issuers supply different services. 
Local operating units can have different prices for the registration services they offer. GLEIF is responsible for monitoring lay data quality. Topic: <laughs> Advantages of lay. In financial transactions, you can reduce the risk associated with the counterpart. You can measure the total risk of the other party. You can also determine the risk of a particular trading partner's concentration. You can reduce the cost of reporting tasks. Financial transactions reduce the costs of information gathering and administrative costs to the other party. You can also reduce the cost of various reporting tasks, such as reporting the details of out of court derivatives transactions and reporting of the regeneration and cleanup plans. You can enhance market transparency. As lay is a code of international currency, it is easy to detect market manipulation, financial fraud and other disruption acts through the sharing of international financial transaction information. Topic. See also Business Entity Identifier ISO 9362 Reference Data Topic. References Topic. External links Official ISO standard